Where are these lands of beyond? Over the horizon, above the Gulf Stream, shaken and stirred by the Arctic Ocean. Ice-locked mountains of ancient stone, deep fjords with brimming glaciers, vast cliffs with clouds of seabirds spiralling in the sky. A lonely land abandoned to winter, capped by an ice sheet a mile deep where the white bear sleeps with one eye open. These are the lands where our adventure begins, where our senses will sing with rare sights, as the tang of the sea and bite of the wind, ice-chained islands lit up by beams of light, where sunsets go on forever, storms but a day, chains of driven waves streaming white spray, Anticipation of sparkling seas and endless snow, crowding the open decks to see the whales blow. Today we are on the first day of our operations in Svalbard, and in true expedition style, we cancelled our first landing due to the unpredictable weather conditions. We quickly changed course and relocated to Burger Bukta, where we are surrounded by hanging glaciers, beautiful waterfalls cascading down the cliffs, leading right up to a glacier at the head of the fjord. We were welcome with a beautiful polar bear sighting first thing this morning and we're now currently at Roschefjorden and we've got this beautiful glacial view. It's the first time we've actually put boots on the ground so this is quite exciting. Welcome to Bamsebu. Bamsebu means uh, teddy bear and um, the reason of the name is 
kind of obvious. This morning we did see a pretty big polar bear only six kilometers away from here. And in the meantime, we have had a landing and now we might be expecting some visitors or perhaps it's just sleeping around the corner. This station was also used as a trapper station, hunting station for whalers. We can see here on the shoreline uh, a lot of remains of vertebrates from uh, the belugas, which has been uh, collected over uh, tens of years. And like there is about uh, 500 of them remaining still on the shoreline here. So we are here at Smurenberg today and behind me you'll find a lovely herd of walrus. So these are Atlantic walrus. There's only about 20 to 25,000 of these left. You'll see they're grouped quite tight together and this is because they really like to share skin contact. This is called thigmataxis and it really helps them to keep calm and collected in the group together. They really like being in close contact and they are a species that are easily disturbed so we are keeping our voices low so we are not disturbing them in any way. Welcome to the Texas Bar up here in northern Svalbard. It's a bright, beautiful day. We're surrounded by gorgeous glaciers. It's a bit blustery out with some wind, but luckily we've got this amazing cabin to hang out in.
morning we're at Pulapinton and there's a couple of walrus coming in and out of the water. Big blubbery things. But when you start to look down, you really start to see there's so much life in such a desolate spot. We're surrounded by driftwood that's been brought on the currents from Siberia. It's covered in these amazing lichens. And it also provides a little bit of shelter for the beautiful flora we have here. So this is oyster plant. It's got these delightful glaucous leaves and these lavender blue flowers. And it's just growing all along the side of this piece of driftwood. It's just getting a little bit of shelter, a little bit of lee, and the seedlings just coming up all over the place. We're in the Arctic. Svalbard has 178 vascular plant species and this one's really decided to grow on the edge. Not only does it have cold long winters but it's growing on a beach so it's getting covered in salt spray all the time. The sand is just draining all the fresh water through and yet it's thriving. What a delight. remote expanses of the north, the Svalbard reindeer thrives with remarkable fortitude. This small subspecies, endemic to Svalbard and distinguished by its short stature and robust build, navigates a world shaped by extremes. Males reaching up to 160 centimeters in length and weighing up to 90 kilograms by autumn bear impressive antlers. These antlers are covered in velvet, a soft skin with blood vessels that supply nutrients for growth. By late summer, the velvet dries up and is shed, revealing the hardened antlers underneath. Amidst the Arctic landscape, they graze on sparse vegetation, conserving energy for the long, harsh winters where every ounce of fat reserves ensures their survival. Adapted to withstand Svalbard's unpredictable climate, their lives embody endurance and resilience in Earth's northernmost reaches.
We cross the Greenland Sea through banks of fog towards the east coast of the largest island on Earth, a vast ice-sheeted massif with high mountains seamed with gold, diamonds and rare minerals, holding many secrets behind the doors of its ice-packed fjords. The way is straight, but the path is round. This immaculate maturity, a walking work of art. Vintage, beyond valuation, beyond forgery or imitation. Away from two, three, four, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How good is he? Wow! Oh! That is beyond special! Brilliant! Had a look, had a hit! in sporting drama. It just does not get better than this. Staggering. Just staggering. Oh, my goodness. Just when you think he's done everything, he comes up with something even more special. Any second now, it will all be over. No, they think it's all over. It is now. Thank you.
So we find ourselves again in uh, Scoresby Sound. We were here yesterday and we've got a unique opportunity to kayak here amongst the pack ice. We're hoping to find maybe one of our little white furry friends as we go along. You might even see the nose popping up in the water, but it's lovely. We're going to kayak along the edge of the ice, look for seals, look for bears, and just have a unique experience here in Greenland. One of the best things I love about expedition photography more than any other is we're constantly going to new places that we might not normally be able to get to on other ships or by other means and with that comes a sense of first time wonder of a place. You get to see these vast landscapes and these places under fresh eyes each time because you never know what the conditions are going to be and you never know what wildlife you're going to get. So it really is kind of a reactionary form of photography which I absolutely love. I started with landscape photography, so that was my initial passion. Now I'm an avid wildlife photographer, marrying those two together to do environmental portraits of all the wonderful animals we see is really where my heart lies and it's a pleasure to be doing this on board Seaborne Venture. The guests are another landing, the last landing in Greenland. Great uh, to manage uh, a landing here on the coast of the Scorsby Sound in the south. Uh, it's called Blomsville Coast and uh, it's a really remote area and we found a place where we couldn't do a very nice landing here in a typical Greenlandic landscape uh, and a nice hike up on this hill. Uh, I enjoyed it very much uh, and I hope uh, you enjoyed it as well.
to see a polar bear in the Arctic is a rare event. A truly wild animal in its natural environment. Watching the mammal's smooth, efficient movement. Realizing how privileged we are to be there at this moment. The tracks, wakes and patterns of our very different lives coincide as a random event when we confirm our sight, recognize the iconic predator, the king or queen of the ice, with cub or prey, gentle or fierce, wary, keeping distant, proud and powerful, but nervous, sniffing the air, shaking its head, recognizing that humans are bad news and are best to be avoided. Uh, dear guests, this is the end. This is the last day of the voyage. Uh, this is the final moment. We are prepared to go home after two weeks of expedition and wonderful days, beautiful days, with a lot of ice, with wildlife, with typical days in Svalbard, Greenland and Iceland. And I thank you all so much for being a part of this adventure, this voyage. I hope I see you soon. So come visit the north or the south, visit the ice and you will see me again.
As we conclude our Arctic voyage, we have ventured through icy waters and witnessed the untouched beauty of the North. Until we sail again, may the memories of this journey inspire us to cherish and protect the wildlife and the places we've been privileged to see. On behalf of Seaborn and the entire team, thank you for embarking on this remarkable journey. <laughs>